All right, so what is good, my dudes? What is up, YouTube? Name is here. Been a minute, but I'm back for like the thousandth time. Oh my god, I haven't played COD since XP. Okay, so that's what we're going to talk about. COD XP, guys. The million dollar tournament. The two million dollar tournament. The biggest tournament ever in the history of Call of Duty. Um, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the atmosphere, my experience, uh, just pretty much everything. So let's hop right into it. Uh, basically, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the matches. I don't want to talk forever because I feel like that gets a little boring. And if you guys are on my channel, chances are you know a little bit about Call of Duty. I would hope so, at least, I think. So, Kata XP 2016. Biggest tournament ever in Call of Duty history. Uh, biggest stage ever. And, you know, most hype ever for an event. So, basically, um, it was a good event for the most part. Uh, I think from a spectator point of view, it was really, really awesome. Uh, as a player, that's kind of what I'm going to give you guys my point of view, what I thought and stuff like that. And uh, pretty much give you guys a run through. So, uh, first I'll do a quick summary of the matches. So, our pool was Pool C. We were going to pull with Fab, Chiefs, and uh, Mind Freak. We ended up beating Mind Freak 3-2 in our first match. We beat Chiefs 3-0, and we lost to Fab 3-0. So, uh, you know, we had a decent pool play. Uh, it was kind of scary there for a little bit because... If Fab would have lost to Mind Freak, we would have been out in pools. So it was like really scary for like a, a short time. Luckily, Fab uh, beat uh, Mind Freak. So we made it through in second in our pool. Uh, we thought we were going to win our pool. Uh, Fab kind of surprised us, which I'll talk about later in the video. But um, yeah, so we got second in our pool. Ended up playing Allegiance round one of the... Come on, man. Stuns, dude. Uh, round one of the winners. We beat them 3-2. Uh, at this point, we were top 12. And we lost to Rise in round two of winners. And then sent us into losers. And we played Optic and lost to Optic. So we had kind of a sucky draw. Kind of suck playing Rise than Optic. But, I mean, if we were going to win the tournament, we had to beat one of them. So, uh, you know, I can't be too mad. Um, obviously, every tournament you go to, the goal is to win. Uh, you know, win the tournament. And, you know, it was Cod XP. We prepared really, really hard. Uh, you know, we didn't prepare as hard as we could have. But we definitely wanted to win. And this dang sentry keeps getting moved and killing me. But, um, you know, we really wanted to win. Nothing's ever, you know, satisfying unless you get first. But, um, it's whatever. Uh, I'm grateful just for, you know, getting ninth. You know, we made $30,000 as a team, so eight grand each or some somewhere around there. And, uh, you know, I'm just grateful we got something. Uh, you know, I can't really be too pissed about it. You know, it is what it is. It's over with. And I just got to be grateful for, you know, what I got. You know, what God uh, put in my path and... What I did, you know, whatever I prepared for, I guess ninth was what I was supposed to get. So, can't be too pissed about that. Uh, shout out to, you know, Envy for winning, Splice, Fab, Elevate, all the teams that showed up and played very, very well. Shout out to all of them. Uh, you know, Envy put in the most work. I think they deserved it the most. Um, I love the guys in Envy. I was actually super stoked for them that they won. If there's anybody who won, if it wasn't me, I wanted it to be them. And, you know, they did. So, I'm really happy for them. That was really awesome, man. Uh, that's kind of how the tournament went for me. So, now going into the actual setup of the tournament and everything, what I thought. Um, the overall setup, the stage and everything was really, really cool. I'm not sure how I feel about it, like, personally, because it was, it was not as intimate as it was before, you know, being right in front of the people. We were, like, 15 feet in the air and stuff like that. I played on main stage twice. Um, and, you know, you didn't really feel like you were part of, uh, you know, the experience going on there, but... Um, it was pretty cool, you know, from a spectator point of view. It looked cool. The stage was awesome. Um, you know, the stations A, B, and C, there was nothing really bad with them. They felt really nice when you played on them. Only thing I have was it was absolutely freezing in there. Like, I could have worn a legitimate snowsuit in the venue and felt good. Like, it was so cold in station A, B, and C. Like, I don't know why they had it so cold. It was it literally felt sub-zero. But, um, yeah, that, that was my only issue with that. Uh, moving on, you know, the warm stations weren't that bad. They were really, really close to each other. The food kind of sucked, but it wasn't bad because our hotel, there's a bunch of food options here, so I would just eat right before I went to the venue. And uh, the overall setup, they, you know, they treat us very, very well. Um, the warm-up stations were always a fight to, you know, try to get one, but uh, it wasn't as bad as the weekend went on. And uh, overall, it was a good Call of Duty Championships, Call of Duty XP. Um, you know, COD 4 Remastered, Infinite Warfare. Didn't really get to play that. I was really focused on the tournament. Uh, and then when I was out, I was kind of down, didn't want to go back to the forum. So as far as uh, Infinite Warfare went, you know, I had a, I didn't really get to play it. I watched a lot of videos. Um, I talked to a lot of people uh, and it looks really good. I'm actually really excited for it. Um, hopefully, you know, it comes out really good. As far as Remastered goes, uh, that looked really cool as well. You know, I was a big Call of Duty 4 player. I've been playing since COD 2. So, you know, I'm really excited for, you know, this game coming out. And um, 
as far as the rest of this game goes there's one tournament left umg orlando definitely gonna be focusing on that i really want to win that i haven't won a tournament in this game i haven't even been to a finals in this game so i really really like i want to win I, that statement sounds like you're not supposed to say i just want to win but i really really want to win and i know it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of dedication i feel like i have the talent and i'm, I'm good enough and i'm smart enough to to win a championship i really do feel like that and um i just hopefully our team can get on the same page and we can start you know playing up to a par of the level of the teams that are winning i know we can be as good as those teams i know we can and it just really irks me that you know we haven't been performing like i know we can perform i know how good i am and what i bring to the table and if a few things just switch i know i can win so i'm actually gonna go really hard for this last tournament like I want to go into the game, you know, on a W, on a high note, and even though it's not Kata XP, it's just UMG Orlando, um, it would mean a lot to me if, if we play really good at this next tournament. Um, it's a $100,000 tournament, so we're not talking about a little bit of money here. It's still going to be like forty, thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 for first. So, I really want to win, but um, uh, off that topic, it's the last tournament left, so I'm going to have a lot of time to make videos and, and stream and stuff like that. I have a better setup now. It's more accessible. It's easier for me to, you know... Make videos and um, you know get them uploaded and stuff like that. So I'm gonna be uploading more. I know I've said that before, but I actually am this time. As long as I have stuff to talk about, you know. So um, that's about it, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, all in all, Call of Duty uh, XP was a success for me this year. Like I said, I have to be grateful for what happened and you know just learn from it and move on and experience. There's never a loss. It's always learning. And yeah. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you support my other videos. Thank you guys so much. As always, guys, it's your boy Ant. I'm